Hey everybody, grab your flannel, grab your fiddle, tea or coffee or something, cheers. The only tricky thing about this is, is there's a lot of double stops. Double stops means two uh, notes being played at the same time. Double stops can be tricky if each of the notes you're using your fingers to play them. But the nice thing about this song is all of the double stops are using open strings. D major scale because the song is in the key of D major. When you're playing the D major scale on the D string, the double stop that you're going to use is the A string. So start out just playing the D and the A string together like that. And then you do your D major scale. So D major scale is like this. playing on the D string you just play the open A string and then when you're playing on the A string part of it you let the E string ring out and that's gonna sound like this All right, we're ready. That's your practice, that's your warm up. Here we go, long hot summer days. D1, and we're gonna slide into that. That follows by a kind of quick turnover, D1, D1, D2, A open. And remember you slide into the first D1, so. Uh-huh. That follows with A2, A1, A open. It's quite fast. put those together. Great. The next three notes are, um, are so fast they're almost like a trill. It's back to the D string and it's D2, D1, D opened. So, so we have it on an up bow. Um, so you can just kind of practice that alone. What follows that is just D1 again. So, if you want to put those two together, it's a good idea. And then there's a pickup of going to D1 open. So the whole second line is... Let's put those two together. a little bit slower. To recap on part one of five. 
the next part is two lines um, and it's D1, D2, open A and you slur the first two notes so it's and the next line is A2, A1, open A you slur the second two lines so So to put those together, all right, so we got part one, this is part two, this third part is just one simple line, there's two ways you can do it, and what it is is it's open E, actually there's three ways you can do it, so it's just it starts with open E, and when you hear them doing it on the recording, you can tell that they're playing two strings. Sounds like this. What I'm doing is I'm using my second finger and I'm going into third position. Second finger on the A string is the same note as open E, so. Another way you could do this is fourth finger on the A string. You know, you want to get that slide in there. The, our fourth fingers are our most weakest fingers. So if you're having a hard time with this, you're in everybody's company. You're not alone at all. That's why I recommend practicing. And if you're struggling with both of those, you can just play open E. It's no problem at all. Just play open E. So the only reason not to play open E is you, you can't slide into it. So when you're playing second finger in third position, You can slide when you're using your fourth finger in first position on the A string. You can slide into it, but if you just go, you can't slide into an open E string. It's still fine, it's still gonna sound good. All right, back to this fifth line. So all that really is is, Open E, open E, open A. That open A is a pickup note to the next bar. So. And now we're on to the fourth, second to last line. We're just blowing through this actually. Uh, it's going to be E1 to E3, and then E1 to E open. There's a lot of slides in this one. It sounds like this. So each one we're sliding into E1. So slide into E1 to E3. We're gonna slide into E1 again. Nice. The second half of this is two slides into A2. Kinda sounds like a train, right? Uh, with that double stop, but we're not yet with putting the double stops in, okay? So uh, it's just A2, A2, slide into both of them. So we're going from the top of this part. A fast trill. Ba 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 ba. Uh, it's an it's on and up bow. You want to give yourself a lot of bow for this. Remember, we're coming in from So it's 
So essentially we're going one, two, one open on the A string. Okay, oh, it's best to practice this um, with both of those in the same line, so. I'll do it slower. Put the whole part together now. Uh, so here we go. If that's too fast, just practice it slowly. You'll get there. If it's not there yet, don't worry. Don't worry. It, it'll get easier and easier. All right. Now we're on the very, very last part. So it's one, two, one open, two on the A string, one, two, one open. So one on the D string. 2 1 open on the D string. A2, 1 2 1 open. And then just open A. But for those of you who want to play the double stops, you can either do the same thing that we did on the E string, but it's going to be on the D string and the open A string. So you can use your fourth finger on the D string to get that slide. Or you can shift into third position. And the way to shift into third position to know is basically what happens is where your third finger is, your first finger goes and you're in third position. And then when you put your second finger down, it should be, it should be the same as the open A above it. Third position is really tricky, so if you know if you're not there yet, don't worry about it. One other way to help get there is pretty much your your uh, the palm of your hand hits the end of the violin, and once you get the feel of what that feels like, you you get used to uh, where third position is. But it takes some practice to practice along with everything that we've learned so far, the whole solo, without double stops. Great job. It's not an easy solo, so you're doing great if you've gotten this far, and when you've gotten this far, I should say. Every time you're playing on the D string, you're playing an A, open A, along with it. Every time you're playing on the A string, you play an open E along with the A string. So that's the rule of thumb. I have no idea how I'm going to like notate this. Hopefully, I can think of something that works. Right, so when we're on that part where we're playing E3, when 
we're on the E string, we don't have any string above that, right? So we default to playing an A double stop with it. Instead of... through with the uh, fourth finger playing those open double stops here we go <laughs> struggle with that with my fourth finger um, I don't know if you can tell but it's just weaker than the other fingers so anyway happy tutorial Tuesday <laughs> I know that's kind of cheesy but I don't really care so um, yeah I think Tuesday might be the day that I just drop tutorials on fiddle tunes we'll just see how how that goes and how long that can go for if this was helpful for you please let me know i'm just really excited that my videos are helping people play music it's been such an important part of my life and to share that with you is a total honor so thanks for tuning in and um i'm not asking for anything in return thank you for subscribing to the channel if you feel like making a donation i am gonna put my venmo and paypal on there but honestly I really just want to keep doing this uh, because it's fun. Please keep on uh, making requests because I've had so much fun learning these from your requests. I did not know these solos and so discovering them and learning them was super fun for me. So I'm really grateful for that and uh, yeah, and to you guys. So happy practice, happy fiddling, have a great time.